All right, so here's the plan. Someone has requested one of my other tenants that they can rent my office from me. And I don't really need the office, so I bought this box truck here and I spent all yesterday cleaning it out. And the plan is to move my office into this shipping container, which is currently just loaded with junk and tools. And so what I want to do is build an office in the back here, which is probably too dark for you to see. I'll get some lights going, but basically 10 foot or so back, we'll build a wall right here. And then I'm gonna move my tools into the box truck so that I can actually take those up to our property where we're gonna be building the house. So it kind of works out because I needed lockable storage with tools on our property and I needed space to move all my office stuff. So office, moving the shipping container, shipping container tools, moving into the box truck and box truck going to the new property. So I got the box truck clean. Now going to start moving everything out of here and then uh, we'll bring it back when we start building the wall and insulating the walls to make the little office. All this stuff here is leftovers from people moving out of units, just abandoning stuff that I just can't throw away. It's a brand new mini split, bunch of uh, diesel truck pillars. And this is a, just about a thousand two sunglass case, case that sell for like $20 on Amazon. And there's a thousand of them. So I should have just thrown them in the dumpster, but. Maybe I'll put them up as a lot on eBay or something. All right, so I've gotten this back half or back quarter cleared out. This is about where the door will go except centered. So this is kind of the space that I'm looking at, 12 foot by eight foot. And the name of the game here is to not damage the box in any way, because when I move, I'm going to sell the shipping container. So what I did, I used hose clamps through all the little hooks that are about, I think every 36 inches in the container. And so that's my plan. I'm going to run a 12 footer down there, 12 footer across there, hose clamp to the hooks, and then I can nail to that kind of skeleton frame and then insulate and then just put some probably cheap wood paneling up over that. I wasn't going to spend the time, but I've got these two windows that were left over. And so I figured I'll throw them on each side of this door, have a little natural light in here, what little I have. It's supposed to be quick and dirty, but now I'm getting invested in this. This is the warmest wall because it sits in the sun all day. So I'm gonna combine my little half inch sheets with the purple stuff that I have so that I get a total R value of R9, I think, on this wall. All right, it's a new day. Uh, at the end of yesterday, I got a little sloppy as we were getting towards the end of the day. ceiling is up, all the paneling is up. Now comes the fun part of doing trim. And I actually think that's the fun part because it makes it, it's gonna make this all look really good. All those waves, all the cracks, most of the nail holes are all gonna get covered up by white trim. Then we'll put in some flooring. And then all we'll have to deal with is air conditioning. I haven't figured that part out yet. Don't hit the ceiling. Let's move up here. Oops. So my idea for the corners is to use two pieces of trim, make an L shape. Something like that. 
Oh, yeah. That's one to show on camera. So I guess that means it's time for floor. It was getting late in the day yesterday and I just wanted to get home. So I just knocked out the floor. It only took about 45 minutes. Since it was a square, it was very easy. I had 100 square feet of flooring and 100 square feet of space and I had no leftover, it was perfect. So last thing I need to do is trim this wall out, hit everything with some caulk and then uh, Oh, lighting. I got some LED strips that I'm going to put on these. So I bought these LED strip lights off of uh, Amazon, 50 bucks, and they are just about the saddest, like flickering, horrible color. I can't work with those. All right, I ended up buying these uh, $37 shop lights from Home Depot. They have a much nicer temperature and even distribution, and so I'm happy with them. I caulked most of the more offensive joints, but I quickly ran out of caulk, so I'm gonna have to come back later. I have a window shaker that I thought maybe I'd just cut out a hole here and vent it out the back, put a drip pan on the floor with a hole through the floor so it would drip through. The other idea are these portable air conditioners, which are far less efficient, but they do not require a drip pan. That was pretty dumb. I just got sawdust all over my fresh caulk lines. Whole size, looks pretty good. All right, getting things set up here in the office and I absolutely hate this air conditioner. Barely keeps the room cool. It's probably 76, 77, it's only 80 degrees outside and it is way too noisy. So I have a window shaker I'm gonna throw in there that I've had for $300 I thought I was upgrading but it is definitely not an upgrade. All right, there really is no comparison whatsoever. This has already cooled this room way more than the other one ever did. It's way quieter. The only issue is that it is going to produce a lot more water likely. And so right now I just got a pan over here. But I think this is the finished, uh, the finished office for now as far as the function of it goes. Still need to put up some of my sound panels. Got a lot of caulk and painting to do once those are up. But I am happy with how things are now. It's workable, and now I can turn my attention to cleaning up out here because I just dumped everything out here as I was working. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.